Are you dreaming of a white Christmas? My friend Galaxy Tree inspired me and I want to spread the Christmas spirit this year. Today I will show you how to make a Christmas wreath on the pass-up. First make sure the racking handle is in its lowest position. Raise 15 needles on the front bed. Place the edge springs on the last needles and make sure the latches are closed. Now raise 15 needles on the back bed and place the edge springs on the last needles. You have to observe the needle rule. The leftmost working needle must be on the front bed and the rightmost working needle must be on the back bed of the machine. Set the front lock to N and the stitch size to 3. Set the back lock the same way, the lever to N and the stitch size to 3. Insert the orange strippers and take the yarn. I will use red and white to make the first strip. For the braid you need to make 3 strips with 3 different color combinations. I have threaded the machine with 2 strands of each color. And the bobbins are behind the machine. Need one row, the lock must be on the left side of the machine. Now set both locks to CX and knit two rows. It should look like this. Set both locks to N and increase the stitch size to 4. Now knit one row to finish the cast on. Clear the row counter and increase the stitch size to 5 on the front lock. Set the back lock to AX, the stitch size to 5 and press the left arrow key. Move the lock to the right and take the second color. Raise pushers and the row working needles on the back bed. You must have a total of 15 pushers in working position. Now you have to place metal hangers and attach weights to the knitting. If you have a cast on comp you can use it from the beginning. You have to be very careful because the weight hangers may damage the strippers. Remove the strippers and knit two rows. Insert the orange strippers and move the lock to the right to change the color. Now knit two rows. Change the color again and knit two rows. Continue repeating these steps, knit two rows then change the color. You have to knit 300 rows, the lock must be on the right side of the machine. On the back lock move the lever to N and increase the stitch size to 7. Rotate the racking handle anti-clockwise to its upper position. Remove the edge springs, take the double eye bodkin to and transfer all the stitches to the needles on the back bed. Place the edge springs on the last needles and make sure the latches are closed. Raise all 15 needles on the front bed. Rotate the racking handle clockwise to its lowest position. Knit one row and lower the front bed. Remove the weights, take the yellow tool and make a large cast off.
When you take the last stitch, wrap the yarn from the lock behind the latch, then into the hook. Cut the yarn from the lock and pull it through. Raise the front bed and remove the knitting from the machine. This is how the strip should look like when you take it from the machine. It is 70 cm or about 28 inches long. First, you have to hide all yarn tails. These are all the strips for the wreath. You can see the combinations red and white, green and white, and red and green. All three strips have a right and a wrong side. You can use either of them to make the wreath, or you can even use a combination. When you decide how your wreath will look, take the strips and fold them like a tube. You can sew them, but it will take a lot of time. Use wonder clips to keep the sides folded. If you don't have wonder clips, you can use regular clothes pins. You can make a combination of the right and the wrong sides of the strips. I will place the red and green one in the middle. Make sure all three strips are folded in the same way, the folds must be in the same direction. First clip the ends together. Now you can start making the braid. Don't worry about the clips, you can remove them later. The beginning is a little bit tricky, but then it goes faster. Now clip the ends together. It will look like this. Now you can remove all the clips except those at the ends. It's time to sew the ends. Take the end of the bottom strip and put it on top. Use a tapestry needle to sew the ends together. Remove the clip from the other side and sew the ends the same way. I won't rearrange the strips. Now it should look like this. At this point you can stretch the braid to adjust it. Hold both ends together and use a tapestry needle to sew them. Now I'm roughly sewing them together.
and now as you can see I'm trying to make the seam invisible. Check out the result, the seam is almost invisible. Now you can adjust the braid again. If you want to make a ribbon, knit one strip the same way but use only one color. The length of the strip has to be 200 rows. Find the middle and fold it as shown in the video. Take a needle and gather it. Make several knots and cut the excess yarn. This will be the ribbon. Take a needle and sew on the ends. Make several knots and cut the excess. Don't worry, no one will notice the knots. Now we have to sew the ribbon to the reed. Pinch the fabric on the back side of the ribbon and make a few stitches. You can adjust it by stretching it a little bit. Then place the ribbon over the seam and sew it. To make the hanger I made an eye cord using some waste yarn. You can sew a loop to the back side of the reed but I will show you another way to do it.
and it's ready! You can see how it looks like. By the way, this is my neighbor. Last night I saw him hanging the Christmas lights. Have you decorated your home already? That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. I hope you have a nice and warm holiday season.